Our next story features Starbucks. The coffee giant has a big problem. In their language, a grande problem. The company has lost around $11 billion. That's 10% of their value, just wiped off. How did it happen? Thanks to the Israel-Hamas war, Starbucks supported Israel. This led to a boycott. Then there were strikes. Starbucks union stood in solidarity with Palestine. And all of this has driven away customers. Looks like no one likes their coffee flavored with political tension. But what does it mean for Starbucks, the company? Can they survive this onslaught? Our next report explores. How do you like your coffee? Hot, cold, with a dash of cinnamon, or with a side of political tensions? Well, it depends on who you ask. But looks like politics and coffee don't go hand in hand. And Starbucks is learning it the hard way. The coffee giant has lost $11 billion in value. That's nearly 10% of the company's value erased. So what explains this? Were the holiday flavors not up to the mark? Or are customers tired of pumpkin spice? Sadly, it's none of that. Customers still love their overpriced lattes, but not with a political opinion. After the Israel-Hamas war broke out, Starbucks found itself in hot water. Like many companies, it expressed support for Israel. But that didn't go down well in West Asia. In November, Starbucks in Egypt reportedly laid off workers. It was forced to cut expenses. Why? Because there were just no customers. Then there are the Starbucks unions. It's called Starbucks Workers United. They reportedly posted solidarity with Palestine on X. The tweet was swiftly deleted, but it sparked calls for a boycott. Starbucks also distanced itself from the comments, but the damage was already done. Then came the strikes. Starbucks workers are unhappy with their jobs. They feel they're underpaid, understaffed and don't have enough rights. So they decided to strike, not in one store, but in 200 stores across America. The result? Slow sales during the holiday season. So basically, Starbucks puts these promotions on us that is like buy one, get one free drinks or double star days. And they put more and more work on the actual baristas and the workers without giving us any ability or control to turn off mobile orders, which puts such a stress on us. I mean, I was, I was almost homeless last week. Um, I, even though I work at a, a store that supposedly pays better, they've been withholding card tip from us. So the amount of money you make is not enough to make rent. Um, it's not enough to get groceries. All of this has contributed to Starbucks's woes. Stocks have declined for 12 consecutive market sessions. This is the longest ever recorded streak ever since the company went public in 1992. Currently, the stock is hovering at around $95, down from a yearly high of around $114. The coffee giant is still optimistic, but the losses don't paint a good picture. Who knew that a simple cup of coffee could be so politically charged? As Starbucks stirs up a bitter brew, it looks like the company's caffeinated dreams have hit a slump. Can they recover from this? Well, their CEO remains hopeful, but the numbers don't look so good. Looks like sipping a cup of Starbucks is no longer just a choice of beverage, it's a political statement.